Today we're going to try the Anderson Valley Wild Turkey Bourbon Barrel Stout. Now I gotta say it's a pretty special beer because we take our Barney Flats Oatmeal Stout, which is already a very special beer, I think, and we put it in wild turkey bourbon barrels and we age it for three months. And then we take the barrels, blend them all together, carbonate the beer, and send it out to you. This is really, I think, quite a nice beer. And one of the things I like about it a lot is that it is a little lower alcohol than some of the bourbon barrel stouts that are out there. So you can have a couple of these. It's not quite so filling, not quite so alcoholic, but yet it's really got a nice bourbon flavor, creamy, smooth. The oatmeal that we use in the oatmeal stout, I think really lends itself to making this a super smooth and tasty beer. Has an amazing kind of uh, oaky, vanilla, bourbony aroma. And then again, nice bourbon flavor up front, but that mellows to some roasty, chocolatey character. Uh, very chocolatey. Little raisin and a little bit of espresso. So one of the things that kind of sets this beer apart is our consistent use of uh, wild turkey barrels. We have an exclusive uh, arrangement with them where they send us barrels to use and we get them fresh from their dumping room. Uh, we give them a call, they take barrels right out of their dumping room or load them right onto a truck and send them off to us and they're here within a week and they're filled with beer. And it's really nice to have uh, that kind of agreement with them because we don't have to search around for barrels a lot. Uh, the barrels are always consistent. Uh, they have a really nice barrel program and their whiskey comes out a little stronger than some whiskeys do and that I think lends a little more flavor to, to the beer that we produce. So this, this beer would really go great with a lot of different things including I think any type of barbecued meat, uh, pecan pie or anything that has some bourbon flavor in it, you know, you'd get that kind of hook. And I think it'd make a great ice cream float. Now you kids don't try this at home. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. It's good. You gotta try this. <laughs> 